are you year two here? Year two. What's the difference from this other last year? Uh, just knowing everybody uh, a lot more, uh, better relationships, you know, uh, just smoother. You know, things are always smoother when you know familiar faces so year two. What's it been like working with some of the younger guys this spring? You know, a lot of the guys your age are kind of out, and you've got Shift and Color and a lot of those younger guys getting a lot of snaps. Oh, it's fun, man. Um, every day they bring, they they play a lot. They call me up. Um, I'm the old, I'm the old man. So it, it's, I love being around the young guys, like on and off the field. You know, they bring energy every day. You feel me? New jokes, new everything, new stuff I never heard of. But, yeah. What were your initial thoughts when you found out that oh. your former head coach was coming here to be the DC? What was that? What were your initial thoughts when you found out your former head coach was coming here to be DC? Oh, that was crazy, man. Um, so I think I seen it on social media, and I think I got a call from him. No, no, I called him like maybe thirty seconds after I seen it. I said, "You got like, is it for real?" And he said, "Yeah, man, yeah, that's my guy." You know, it's just. Love being around Coach Collins, you know, energy guy, super. Energy guy. How is he different? You don't get to work with him much because he's on the other side of the ball, but you get to see him enough. How is he different in this role than he was when he was the head man? Uh, so, uh, obviously, he was the head coach at Georgia State. Uh, over, over here, he's more hands-on, you know. Just, you hear him yelling from the other side of the field, air play, you know, bringing, bringing energy, just – Getting the ball, tell him to get the ball, you know, every play. So, did you have some of the defensive guys come over to you and say, Man, what's this dude like? Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah, right yeah. when he came in, it was like, Yeah, what's this guy? I said, Man, I love this guy. He's gonna bring energy every day. Every day, he's the same way. You ever see him not wear a vest? <laughs> yes, recruiting, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. He told us that too, though, that yeah. you might have been the first one to contact him. You oh, remember yeah. that? Yeah, like he no, said, I probably was the first one, like, yeah. <laughs> and you FaceTimed him, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick, uh, going back to some of those young wide receivers, first of all, who's the first one that started calling you home? <laughs> man, Jordan Ship. <laughs> Jordan Ship, man, he a clown, man. He called me up, man. He called me all that stuff. He just, like, stuck up. Just, yeah, just trolling. Yeah, yeah. But I, I guess with him, too, uh, you know, we were out there the other day, you know, saw him making, you know, several plays and kind of showing his speed and things like that. Uh, what have you kind of observed, obviously, about not only his game, but, like, was there anything about his game that, Stood out to you, maybe you didn't really expect him to kind of have an respect. Yeah, so when you come in as a wide receiver, when I came in, I wasn't as polished as a route runner. He's a very polished route runner, and I think most of the, the freshman wide receivers that came in, they're polished, you know. Uh, they're coming along very fast. I know I wasn't like that. It took me a while, so that's what I do see in them. So. Yeah, it does seem like they're coming. I would say the plays that, you know, we were at practice the other day, and some of those plays are. Yeah, it's just like they've been here, right? That's all for yeah. Nate, what would you say about um, the quarterback competition? And, t I mean, to us, it seems like Connor has really made a lot of strides from last year. I mean, do you think that's accurate that he's improved a lot? What would you say just about where his game has gone from, from last season to this spring? Yeah, for sure. So, um, I would say, especially at the quarterback position, it comes with playing. So, he has gotten way more reps, you know, and – one thing that has developed in his game is reading the defense, obviously, what you have to do. So I can see that one of the biggest things, you know, just being more calm, just taking control, you know, and it comes with just taking over the offense and playing a lot more. So. When you say reading the defense, is that also a tribute to when he releases the ball? So he's getting rid of the ball at the right time right. anymore now? Yeah, everything, pre-snap, whatever you want to call it, post-snap, pre-snap reads, um, just – Making the right decision. Is there any kind of adjustment? Was there any kind of adjustment with Max that he's a left-hander? He's tall, left-hander, different kind of guy than, than Drake was, different kind of guy than, than Connor. Uh, one thing, uh, his ball. So I, if I'm running right, his ball tails to the left. Yeah, that's the only thing. Everything else, uh, same, is that, similar body. Is that significant, though, given the fact that you've – Probably not had a lot of lefty quarterbacks. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. It's definitely different, but he throws, a, he throws pretty well. Um, so. That touchdown you caught the other day on Thursday when we were there, it looked yeah. like from him, it looked like it hung up there right. forever. Yeah. Like, I guess, did he put the amount, right amount of air under oh, yeah, it to yeah, let you sure. go get it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, he just let me run up under it and make a play. Nick, for you, what is the experience of, you know, being a receiver hey. in the middle of a quote unquote quarterback battle? Because obviously you basically get in. Same amount of reps. Like, last year you knew it was going to be, you know, Drake, but you basically get the same amount of reps from this guy and that guy. Like, for you, what's that experience been like? Uh, I've experienced before at Georgia Tech. Uh, I went through three quarterbacks, which is injured. So, basically, I guess you could say it's a battle. But it's just about making adjustments and communication, uh, communicating with the quarterbacks on and off the field, in the film room, you know, just 
see what they want because they're going to play different. They're going to think differently. Like Everybody's not going to be the same, but that's what I would say, just communication. What's, what's Max's communication style like? Him obviously being a, a veteran guy, you know, uh, and you obviously you've been around Connor before, but what's, what's Max's like kind of communication style like? Oh, yeah, you, you could tell he, he has played a lot of ball. Um, just taking control, like, if he doesn't like this, how this was ran, mm -hmm. he would be like, okay, let's run it like this. But, you know, let's look quicker right here. So just, like, making adjustments mm -hmm. just based off of what he likes. So. Nate, do you feel like it's like a – almost like a reset on offense? I mean, the quarterback's different, obviously. Drake's not around anymore. Offensive line, that's mm -hmm. well, a whole new, you know, rebuilt thing there. You know, like, is this – I don't know if that's the right word to use in sort of like a restart, but, like, what do you – What's the feeling like with so many different just faces and guys? I think every every new season is a reset. What did we do good last year that we can use this year? What did we do bad last year that we need to improve on? So uh, I feel like every season every season is a reset. So. Nate, just talking about you know differences between each season. Um, Coach Brown has kind of made an emphasis on you know heels for life and really tapping into NIL in a different way this season. Um, how have you navigated that as a player, and have you seen any changes so far? Um, honestly, I think it was the same like last season. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we had one of our events today actually. You know, just just pouring into the community, you know, as much as possible outside of football and school, you know, just to try to get involved. And just talking about community, how have you tapped into, I guess, local businesses or, you know, things on Franklin that try to really, you know, connect with the athletic community here? Yeah, just giving our reach a hand to ones in need, um, you know, just doing our best to just help the people around us, showing that we appreciate their support and we want to support them as well. So. If you have to had to pick one or two guys from the offense, mm -hmm that have had a great spring, who would you, in, in your assessment, who would you say has had a, a really good spring to this point? That's tough. Or you can say yeah. as many as you want. Man, I, that's a lot. Uh, that's a tough question. Uh, okay. I feel like every day, every day, like, I think we took a step, a step up every day as a group and individually. So every guy has their day. Uh, that's a tough question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the nutrition program here. Um, how important is that as your like as part of your athlete journey? Uh, very important. You know, <laughs> they they we train in, like, we train six days out the week. Uh, me, uh, I'm a smaller guy, so I mean they're not really big on me, but like the ones that need to drop in weight and it is very uh, just eating, recovery, mm -hmm. um, just. And I wanted to ask specifically about your relationship with Amber Weinstein and how important she's been in kind of just preparing the team for uh, like the nutrition journeys. Oh, I love Amber. She she's the loudest one at six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get your pills. What did she say? Yeah. Get your pills. Just yelling everybody's name mm -hmm. as soon as they come in. You know, just making you want to do it. You know, it's. it's mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't, you know, yeah. typical college athlete, you don't want to do nothing. Well, it's early, I mean. Right, yeah, so just, make, she makes you want to do it, like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, Amber, okay, yeah. So. And do you have a favorite kind of food she's introduced you to, or favorite path she's put you on? Um, I like the Gatorade electrolyte with Pedialyte. Okay. I don't know okay. if y'all know what that is. It's just a bunch of sugar. It tastes like my, <laughs> it tastes like my grandma Kool-Aid. I was going to say, it's Kool-Aid. So we have time for Kool-Aid back in Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Nate, what what was what was your injury last season, and like how did that affect you? It's, it it seemed like you were trying to play through something at some point, but like what what happened and what were you what were you dealing with? Um, so uh, around camp, I tore my groin and I was on and off the field, but still like uh, I struggled. Obviously, I struggled with drops, and that's one of the main things I wanted to build off is just just fixing that problem, you know, and then just staying healthy. And that comes with Amber's routine. So I, I try to do my best with that, too. But the drops in some way are a little bit of a product of the injury, weren't they? No. Okay. No, I would okay. no, no, no. Yeah, just lack of focus. Just make the play. You got to make the play. So. Nate, I want to ask you about, yeah, you got ask you about Sorry. Elijah moving back to corner. You've had a lot of reps, obviously, against him. How how good is he at corner? What are some of the things that make it just a battle every time you run around and he's on you? He's a receiver playing corner. <laughs> if that makes any sense, yeah, he does. got he has feet. He's like a he's like a fly you can't get rid of. And then he's gonna, yeah he's going to be on your hip every time. He's 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 smaller, but he is strong. That's what I want to say. He has great feet. I love the move they made with him. I, 
think he's gonna ball out this year. But yeah, he's a ball player. Is, is, it, is there a conscious challenge when he's covering you and he's the kind of guy that can get the ball to? Some DBs, they don't get the ball. Mm -hmm. They just defend the man, but he can get the ball, grab it, and run the other way. Yeah, that's a great point. Yeah, that's probably like the worst thing that can happen as a receiver is that DB gets the ball. And you know that type of DB can make a play like that. So, you know, sometimes you do want to take a different approach to certain DBs, different types of play. So, yeah. All right. Great Thanks, stuff. Thank you. Thank you.